Han hun hår, jeg vågt vår, jeg får kvinnsak på. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on behalf of Archbishop Boshagan Choloyan, the prelate, the prelacy, religious and executive council members, I wish you in the spirit of the new year a healthy, happy, peaceful and prosperous year and wish you on the feast of the nativity and epiphany of our Lord Jesus Christ by saying, Tsezjev mez medzavedis, Christos tsenav yev hait netzav. Good news to all. Jesus Christ is born and revealed. What a short yet wonderful and powerful greeting. Today, I invite you all to explore its depth, beauty, and impact in our daily lives. In this regard, I would like to invoke the luminous presence in my own life, the late New Testament instructor of mine, Professor Kenneth Bailey, at nearest School of Theology in Beirut. Back in 1981, on January 7, when we entered the classroom, Professor Bailey welcomed me and Father Kajaka Gopian, then Archbishop and Prelate of Canada, with the greeting mentioned above. Having noticed that I was a little bit perplexed, Dr. Bailey said, Father, for heaven's sake, have you forgotten your Christmas greeting? I answered, Professor, frankly speaking, that was the greatest surprise I would ever expect. Then he went on and explained to the students the uniqueness of this greeting. He said, in English, we wish a Merry Christmas, literally a Happy Christ Mass, which assumes a joyful atmosphere with Christmas tree, the chimney, the luxurious table, the carols, the gifts, the good wishes, and so on. Yet, in a dramatical way, he questioned, where is the real joy? And concluded, in the Armenian greeting, we find the source of all joy, the birth and the revelation of Messiah, expected for ages, ages to come, which brought to us the everlasting joy, the joy of embracing heavens and earth. Is there a better contemplation on the Christmas greeting, better than the simple explanation of this biblical scholar who had combined both Eastern and Western approach to understand the authentic joy to the world. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we as Christians, when we carry the root of all joy, Jesus Christ, in our hearts and implement this greeting in our daily lives, I assure you that will not be depend on external factors for happiness. Rather, our entire essence will be embedded in the everlasting joy even when we face the negative, multidimensional challenges of this world. As St. Paul says in the second letters of the Corinthians, we are treated as sorrowful, yet always we are rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. Because in the very words of the prophet Zephaniah, God will rejoice us with gladness. He will renew you in his love. While discovering the energy of this greeting, let us therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, share it thankfully and joyfully with our fellow brothers and sisters and greet each other by saying, Tsezjev mez medzavedis, Christos tsenav yev hait netzav. Good news to all. Christ is born and revealed.